Good night and welcome back to the channel. I'm out to photograph Orion for the first time this season. And it's foggy. So, summer has come to an end. Milky Way core season is definitely over by now. But I see a lot of astrophotographers, also landscape astrophotographers, just stopping the hobby right now. But that's such a shame because there are so many cool objects coming up to photograph. I mean, in the Milky Way we have the uh, Great Rift region, the Cygnus region is uh, coming up low on the horizon later this winter. And of course the winter constellations are coming back in the sky. And I'm especially looking forward to seeing Orion for the first time again. But first let me quickly show you how I planned this night of astrophotography. I'll start at uh, Stellarium, stellarium-web.org. Uh, There's also a mobile app available just to check out where Orion will be rising. Uh, let me turn on the constellations and the uh, azimuthal grid here. Uh, and you just drag your slider here to the right where you'll see that around midnight Orion is rising in the east. If you drag the time slider a bit more to the right, we also see that there is a moon rising quite close to it. So I know that I won't have too much time when Orion is high in the sky to uh, collect more uh, data. Um, okay, so it's rising in the east and that means I'll have to find a region where the light pollution in easterly direction isn't too bad. So for that I normally use lightpollutionmap.info. And of course I'll also uh, do a quick check uh, on um, various weather apps, for example on Clear Outside to check what the weather conditions will be, so that I won't be surprised that there will probably be some fog in the air in this case, for example. Alright, back to the vlog. So that's basically why I came out tonight. Um, well, I have only 20 minutes until moonrise. Uh, but yeah, finally after a month it is clear. Well, cloud-wise, but uh, as you might be able to see behind me, it's rather misty. So I'm not expecting any details, but uh, I'm still very excited to see Orion rising for the first time, photographing it. And uh, yeah, perhaps the mist will work as a free sort of star glow filter. We'll see. <laughs> Let's get to work and enjoy our night. At the beginning of this night it was very misty, there's still a lot of humidity in the air, but guess what? The fog is lifting <laughs> and Orion is uh, showing itself beautifully there. It is now fully risen. The moon is also, uh, is also rising, so I guess I'll have about 10 minutes or so left uh, to gather some data and uh, then I'll have a foreground in mind. And maybe I'll put in an H-alpha filter, who knows? <laughs> What a great night, what a great night, yes, beautiful. Now would you believe this? <laughs> I found this uh, beautiful dead trees backlit by the moon. There's also some folk on the ground, which is also backlit by the moon, which creates a beautiful atmosphere. Uh, Orion is uh, just out of frame that way, so uh, I'll try uh, to make a quick composition with uh, one or maybe two of these trees with Orion uh, in the frame. And maybe I'll grab a quick moonscape because this atmosphere, come on! Wow! Yeah, I did try to make that moonscape, but somehow I totally forgot that the 500 rule also applies for a moonscape. So yeah, my stars trailed. The foreground I imagined for Orion turned out pretty good actually, and I'll show you in a minute. Alright, so I have about half an hour of relatively good data in uh, from Orion rising there. Um, I say relatively because the humidity in the air remains pretty high, as you might be able to spot around the humidity there. Um, you can also see the moon has uh, risen now. I've decided not to put in an H-alpha filter because the seeing is just not good enough, I think. But 
Nevertheless, I've had a really great, great night of astrophotography seeing Orion rising for the first time this season. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching again. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I did enjoy the adventure and uh, on to some more adventures the coming months. See you on the next one.